Hello everyone, how's it going? Brian Harvey here for what's probably going to be my last broadcast. It's Friday 25th February. Roughly about 10 to 3 p.m. Um, yeah, some strange stuff going on again. YouTube playing God once again. And, um, you know, really, I've got to say, I'm getting sick of it. I've, I've, I think I've had enough. It's been 10 years. I've been saying the same thing for 10 years. And, um, you know, consistently with evidence. And I've got to say, I feel really fucking disappointed, pissed off, angry. I feel like I hate this country now, you know. And I know that a lot of the people that are in it, you're not representative of this country and its workings and its morals. I know there's a lot of good people out there. And, um, all the people that have followed me over the past eight to ten years, you know, who was also part of the original BHTV uh, One channel, when we got up to nearly 50,000 subscribers, but because I was hitting nerves again, you know, it was time to not only take BHTV One, but BHTV's One to Eight, with no excuse. Some some of the the channels not even having any content on them, um, it's ridiculous. YouTube are part of the problem. They're playing God with people's accounts. That's why I would never do anything like monetizing or anything because they're just gonna fucking take it away from you. When someone's got the power of and you can wake up in the morning and your fucking channel's gone, like so. Terminated. For what? Misinformation, misleading, uh, no one's misleading anyone here, yeah, no one's misleading anyone here, I tell the fucking truth, I've called them all out, yeah, and they've all run away, all run away to regroup together, to re-club and, and work out what they're going to do next. Well I'm here like a sitting duck, having my channel taken, I can't go anywhere, there's no help from the NHS. There's no help from any real police. There are no lawyers out there that are willing to take this on because they're too scared of losing their own law firm, probably. How that's gonna happen, I don't know. But there is no justice in this country, right? There is none. There is none. And YouTube, you keep playing God with people's accounts. You're not helping, there's no freedom of speech. There's only the speech that you dictate that we can fucking say if we are to use your platform. Well, I won't be using your platform any longer because you are not gonna turn me on and turn me off whenever you fucking well feel like it. You're not gonna do it. So you can fucking stick your channel up your ass. As of today, I'll be taking it down. Fuck you, yeah? I use BitChute from now on, whatever. I'll upload my stuff. It'll be out there. Yeah, but as for me, coming online, repeating myself, connecting dots, yeah, I'm not doing it no more. Not when I can just get taken out in a heartbeat and then put back on. Oh yeah, it's back on now. BHTV's back there. It's too late now. You can shove it up your ass. I don't want it. I don't want it. Let me come over there. <clears throat> so, uh, let me just get the headphones out. Yeah, there's a game. Um, so, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with this. <clears throat> There's no freedom of speech. There is no justice. I know because I've been doing this for 10 years. 
uh, it's bullshit. Our lives are fucked. They're fucked. Um, I, d I just don't know what else to say. I don't know what people expect me to do. I don't know. I just fucking don't know. BHTV.UK is up there. If anyone wants to go over there, they give a fuck. Um, it wasn't working yesterday when I needed it to. So I'm not even fucking bothered about that. Nah, right the way I feel right now. I'm so angry, mate. I want to kill people. You know, obviously. You know you can't. It's anger, it's frustration. Um, yeah, man, I, I, I just feel... I just feel disappointed, man. I, I'm not putting any more energy into this. I'm not fucking doing it. Scotland Yard, what have I been saying all along? Reporting Mallet for corruption, yeah. Filing the fucking claim in the phone hacking. The judge, all the lawyers, all of the people, hacked off, Puddick, Peter Dukes, Robert Kellaway, all these people. They all get to get away with it. And, 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 and the only sense where they, they haven't got away with it is where I've been out there. And that's it. Apart from that, everyone's covered up from. And let them all get away with it. Kids are being trafficked. And no one seems to care. Well, don't let it happen to your kids before you start caring. That's, that's my advice to you. Don't let it have to be you and your family that are in trouble before you take interest in what's right over wrong. It shouldn't have to go that far. It should be a given. What are these people doing with kids? What? We're horrified. And Prince Andrew, here's my message to you. Good luck in your life now. Good luck. Your family have managed to go around killing everyone that's got anything bad to say about you, look. I saw you, mate. I saw you in the Red Rooms. 1994. I saw you, mate. Two minors. So, if you get away with this, and you get reinstated like the little plan that's happening. Virginia dufresne has been in it from day one, right? No one's falling for your shit. I know how you operate. You're going to get made right. Even though everyone took the piss out of the Newsnight interview, watch him get made right on loads of it. Virginia Dufresne is not fucking real. I am real. I am real. You're looking at the real person who can put Prince Andrew away. You're looking at him. Not, don't raise your hopes on that fucking bird over there, because she's settled, and that's what it was always going to be. Now the press are going to turn on her. You're the procurer. You knew all along. But Andrew's paid you. Yeah, he's going to look like a good bloke then, isn't he? Just see it when it comes. But I'm telling you, I fucking saw you. And Ghislaine, you looked in my fucking eyes. And Daniela knows all about it and all you little spin doctors have helped you try and cover it up. Well, I fucking exposed you. You know that, from me to you. I fucking exposed you, because I fucking saw you. And I ain't fucking scared of you, yeah? I ain't scared of you or your fucking family. You can drop dead, as far as I'm concerned. What needs to happen now is that royal family need to be over. This country needs a fucking change. A serious fucking change where we have people that are upstanding watching over our fucking country looking after our fucking needs running our NHS I don't trust these fucking people I never have done and Boris Johnson you're a fucking disgrace as all your fucking people before you your predecessors Tony Blair David Cameron, Theresa May, and now this one, with his satanic girlfriend. Well, the public might be fooled by you all, but I ain't. 
And uh, I'll say this to you, don't ever come near me or bother me again. It's as simple as that. Stay the fuck away from me. Keep your fucking, your fucking demons and your fucking, your little workers, your little helpers that wanna come, mate, how old are you? Put in a bath of it, how old? How old are you? Don't come near me anymore. I'm warning you. I'm done with this now. I've said my bit. If no one wants to listen, that's up to you. If you want to believe the mainstream newspapers that want to inform you that Brian Harvey's mad, he don't know what he's talking about, then uh, that's up to you, isn't it? You know, I can't force you to listen to what I'm saying. I can't force you to look at the evidence that's right there in fucking black and white. If you don't want to look at it, don't look at it. Just go and take another fucking top up jab and get on with your life. Yeah, because that's what I'm going to do now. <clears throat> Not that I've got many options. I'm on benefits, so I can't do anything for me fucking self. I can't work, I can't do fuck all. Yeah, because then life crumbles even more. I've not really had any help out of the NHS. I keep asking for it, but there ain't none. Not any real help anyway. Sit down and talk with some fucking idiot for half hour who ain't gonna give a fuck when you leave. Um, if you think that's help, then that's not help. And I'm tired, man. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of it. So, I think that's it, man. I, I, I've said all I need to say. All there is left to say is thank you to the people that supported me for all that time, put my information around supported me, you know, spoke up for me, shared videos, tried their best to tell people, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. That, you know, there are still good people out there, but there's not many. There's not many of us. There's not enough to do anything real. Nothing's gonna change. It's getting worse. I'm just so tired of it, man. I've got to find, you know, where my life's going. I don't know where my life's going. I sit here day after day after day after day knowing I should be doing more, but I don't know what more. I don't know. I'm just as lost as everyone else, really. And that's what life's become. But I've learnt things along the way. You know, I've learnt the the value of life. <laughs> I learnt that one. And that life ain't worth living if you're just gonna go through it trying to up the next person. Be your own person, man. Don't worry about what people say. Don't worry about what they call you. Let them call you mad. Just fucking be you. Don't listen to these people telling you how you need to be. You mustn't have opinions and you mustn't think for yourself and you must just, it's got silly. It's fucking silly. I can't believe what I'm looking at out there. And YouTube was the was the final straw. And they can just keep taking people's channels and then, oh, no, we've made, yeah, what are you playing at? Who do you think you are? You wanna use people like me to make money, put adverts on fucking videos, and then you just wanna shut someone off because I'm talking the truth. This will all come back on you all one day. I'm confident of that. I believe in God, and I believe you won't win, but I believe I have to step away. Because when you're trying to force something, oh, I must make you understand. Sometimes, go like that, all right, and just fade off. And trust in the man upstairs. 
It's odd. It's odd. It's fucking odd because, you know, people die. I don't know. You know, I'm in a nightmare. I'm, 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 I'm actually living in this nightmare, and I've got fucking royal family that fucking want me dead. Tom Watkins, you fucking rapist. You never got away with it, though. That's the difference. You didn't get away with it. You didn't get away with it. You're fucked. You can't have the big flamboyant fucking funeral. You gotta go hiding in another part of the world because of what you've done and who you're connected to. I'm not about it all. And that's why you had to do a runner. And even in doing a runner, you thought you was clever, trying to set up a scenario to make me believe you were dead with your, all your, your, your help from your friends in the media. All you've done was confirm to me, fuck, they do all gather together to help one person. And they make front page stories up to entrap people like me. You got Ian Puddick to thank for that one, who's been pushing Paul Page. He's still pushing him. Two days ago, he was on the fucking news. But it's not my problem anymore, is it? It's up to you lot now. How do you want your lives to unfold? I've given you the key. Rip all my videos before I take that YouTube down. If you genuinely do care, rip them videos. I'll give you 24 hours to rip whatever you need to take off of my channel and keep it, if you want. Don't have to. You don't have to. Just unbookmark and, and move on with your life. Because unless, you know, people were ready to really... I mean, the thing is, it's not your fault. It's not your lot's fault. It, it's these lot which are stopping information from getting out to everyone. That's, that's what the fight is here, that's what the fight is, because if that happens, well, they know I'll win. So, they've been creating scenarios so that they can report them, i.e. like me getting arrested, many, many times over. So they can report them because it all enforces the story that Brian RV has lost the plot. And I ain't lost the plot. I'm just an emotional person, and things affect me. When I sell 22 million records, probably 30 million now, and I'm sitting here with nothing, having to punch a bit of roll up, after everything I've fucking been through, it's humbling. somewhere, can't find it. Oh, it would be all the way over there, wouldn't it? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's where I'm at anyway, that's where I'm at. And I'm not allowing YouTube even Facebook have been good. Fucking hell, they ain't took nothing down. Normally, I thought they were the ones that were like, ooh, Facebook are highly censoring. No, it's YouTube. It's YouTube that are censoring massively, because, you know, Facebook's been all right with Meta, whatever the fuck it's called. No, I don't know, it's still called Facebook in my head. Um, even Twitter. Oh, fuck me, how many times did I get banned off of there? But that's still going. Funny, isn't it? I end my YouTube broadcasts on a roll-up. After all that time, I'm going out on a roll-up. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's done now. I ain't gonna bother go back to Scotland Yard. I ain't bothering. So don't worry about it, Scotland Yard. Don't worry about it. I'll just 
leave it now. I'm just going to leave it. I'm not repeating myself. I'm not doing it no more. I'll just leave it. Let them have it. I know I won. I know I won. And the genuine supporters on there, you know as well. So, uh, you know, it's hard after so long, you know, to have to be like, you know, fuck, what am I going to do now? I don't know, but I'm just going to have to trust and have faith that, you know, wherever you end up, you end up, that, and, and that's it. Maybe that's freedom, and not knowing. Have a bit of faith. Because <clears throat> it's hard to walk away when you know you're right. It's hard. But it, it ain't doing me any good anyway. It's not helping my, my mental state of mind. It's making me... It's made me really bitter, man, and angry. I was fucking angry all the time. And if that's what it's going to do to me, then I'm going to leave it. I am going to leave it. I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be that person, man. Fucking full of rage all the time, you know what I mean? Victim mentality. Yeah, fuck that, fuck all that, free that shit. Free that, man. This has gone on for long enough. I've made my point. If you care, rip the videos. If not, just look at saying off. All the different trolls along the way. Fuck it, there's been loads of them. Pies I go. Uh, you you uh, put up a good fight. I've learnt a lot from being trolled. Not personally, inside. How to deal with things, how to not take things personally. Because I remember in the, in the early days, you know, you'd get a, a comment, a criticism on a song, and I'd think, oh, fuck, oh, oh I didn't like that. So if anything, it's done me a favour, because I, I honestly couldn't give a fuck now. I couldn't give a fuck. So it's, it's, it's freed me of that. Uh, and, and what people think, I don't give a shit. I couldn't give a fuck what people think of me. But a lot of people do. And they do anything to please the media and the people, ooh, except me. I don't give a fuck. I've done my bit in life. I've done a lot more than a lot of people have done. I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful for it. it it's a shame that you just had to have such a fucking, uh, a sad outcome, you know? But maybe, maybe the man upstairs will take care of it now. It does seem to be falling apart over there. There is no getting around that one. And it's falling apart. And if I end up dead, it weren't me, all right? Just, just know that. There's no fucking way I would do something like that. No way. Isaac Cappy said it though, still got rid of him, didn't they? Fucking hell, not suspicious. You just don't know what you're being told anymore by anyone. I don't know what's truth from what's not truth anymore. I don't know what to believe anymore. So I'm shutting down, like, I don't know who's talking truth to me and who ain't. I can't tell anymore. There's been so many lies spun to me, so much mind games. I think I see through it, but then there's always something you don't see coming. But I'll say this, if anything does happen to me, go straight to Puddick, go straight to Daniela, and never, ever 
let him get away with it. That's when the videos will come in handy if you rip them. Because I do believe, I do believe they're coming. And um, I do believe, even though I'm walking away, all of this is still going to end badly. I believe that. I, I can see an end scenario. It's one of them ones when you're just against a wall, man. Everyone's there and you're just like, what the fuck? It will go down, no, it will. But I did my bit, yeah? Sat in that room, 2015. Fucking door barricaded up. Fucked. Fuck you. Still here. Bollocks. Bollocks. Still here. But I'm not going to play fucking games anymore. I'm still here. Yeah, I'm still here. Still telling the truth. Your shit. Dog shit. Dog shit. And everyone knows. So it's game over. Don't go buying any more merch off anyone. I never had nothing to do with it in the first place. But people, certain people can't be bothered to message me, but sell my stuff. Stop selling it, nah. Stop selling it. I'm just like a fucking... fucking cash cow for everyone. And it stops today. YouTube, do one. Keep your channel. Poke it up your fucking shitty ass. You fucking propaganda fucking spilling, child nonsense covering up fucking freedom of speech, crashing little cunts. All about money. It's all you care about. Adverts, money, shutting people down. Who the fuck are you to shut me down? Who do you think you are? YouTube. Fuck your mum. Fuck your mum, YouTube. And the YouTube owners, I like, will die of AIDS. Die. Plane crash. Now. Oh, and that's nasty, isn't it? Well, I'm a nasty cunt now. Fuck you. Fuck you. It's what you've done to me. It's what you turn me into. you done this to me. I didn't do this to me. I was happy just singing songs, getting on. But I'm a bit naive, maybe. But I know now, I know what this fucking world's about. It ain't worth a wank and I'm not putting any more energy into it. I'm not. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. I'm going to fucking sit here and fucking do me. And that's what I'm doing. Finish the fucking kennel. Do the garden. Sort the dogs. That's me. Simple shit. You'd be a lot happier as well. You've got to keep up appearances on YouTube. You should be doing this, you should be doing that. I should be doing nothing. You should be doing nothing. Sold all them records, I'm sitting here, man, struggling for a roll-up. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, drop dead. Drop dead. Don't ever, any of you ever come near me again. E17, don't ever, ever come near me ever again. Ever. There'd be no re-fucking unions with me or nothing, mate. Ever. I don't give a fuck what happens. Band member dies, don't come to me for a reunion gig. Don't come to me. I'm not a part of your fucking world. I will not sell my soul to be famous and keep my mouth shut. I am not like you. I am not like you. I never was. And I see that now. Even the fucking people in this area people that I fucking fought with mates, I ain't like you. I'm like none of you. You're not like me. I'm different to all of you. Watch you all come round here, hang out my fucking ass, thinking you can all fucking get somewhere. Where'd it get ya? Where'd it get ya? Nowhere. Fucking using cunts. Drop dead, man, all here. Drop dead. 
Wait till you start having problems in your life and need help. And no one's there. See if you can deal with it. I'm done with pain, man. It's over. YouTube, all this shit, all it's done is, is bring me pain. There's been no outcome apart from what I've made happen. And that's it. Everyone else is just going along with that shit. I've seen it now for what it is. Fuck, man. They, ma they made up a front page story to convince me Andrew Ash was telling the truth. So I'd go out there and call people, you're this, you're that, you're that, get myself locked up. You fucking cunts. But you got caught. James Fielding, Bill Maloney, Chris Fay. John Wedger. You ain't fooling no one, mate, were you Christian, yeah? You're fooling no one. Sean Atwood, I'll spit in your face, you cunt. Yeah? Don't want to come on your fucking podcast. Shove it up your ass, because it's full of lies. And just about making money. That's it. You're weird anyway, mate, yeah? You're weird. Weird. That's all you are. That's all you are. David Icke. Where are you? Got Bill Maloney getting Andrew to call you a fucking nonce and that you've been, yeah, and you just, uh, I, uh, that's why I uh, work and work alone, Brian, and uh, oh, 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 something's coming, something's coming. You're all fucking sad, mate, having the public over to sell books, make a bit of money. It's time to piss out you people. Oh, consciousness, uh, uh, yeah, because you're all fucking God now, aren't you? You can all turn a tarot card over and fucking, you know the truth. Satanic cunts, a lot of ya. Shove your satanic world up your fucking satanic ass. All them people you've jabbed up with them fucking injections, what have you done to people? I mean, let's just go off the mainstream media. Queen's had her three jabs, isn't she? Still got COVID. Well, does that not coincide with Boris Johnson don't believe his own fucking stories because he's having parties? They're taking the piss out of you. They're taking the piss out of you by saying, I'm mad and not letting you hear the truth of my story. But you listen to them because they got your best interests at heart. Encro chat, sweeting. Ain't, ain't you breached some French laws there with the interception on everyone? Sweeting. Emma sweeting. Dita sweeting. Yeah, you panicked, didn't you, when I found out about that one? I got the same people on me, people that were doing Encro chat. Yeah, I weren't being hacked still. Sweeting. Where'd that get you, Andrew Gwynn? Where'd that get you? Not so mouthy now, are you? Ain't got so much to say anymore now, have you? Now your little fucking ploy didn't work. Come round, drag me out of my bed with 20 officers, yeah? You sad little cunt. I hope you die. I hope you die of AIDS. I hope you get AIDS in your mouth. You horrible cunt. Drop dead today would be nice you evil fuck evil homophobic trap transgender trap for people to fall into so you can all push your malicious communications who dreamed who dreamt that one up puddick it's not real none of it's real puddick ain't real you think that's his name it's not his name cover stories, backstories for who they really are, intelligence services, posing as truthers. So you go run into them with your story, and then what do you think they're going to do? Well, what did they do to me? Set me up. Made me believe that what I was seeing was a Operation Fernbridge witness who'd given 70 hours and 100 hours to Operation Fernbridge, according to Puddick. 
puddy good mix. It's been spoken to Andrew Ash for two hours. How comes no one's questioning him on it? How comes Operation Fernbridge will give a hundred hours, according to Ian Puddick's tweets, but yet Puddick speaks to me and he says, you know, you can quickly tell within five minutes of talking to him that he would admit to being the Yorkshire Ripper. Well, why spend hundred hours on him then? It all fits now though, doesn't it? Because he's not real. Because none of it's real. Like your best mate Bill Maloney standing outside Buckingham Palace committing treason. Nothing happened, did it? That was to lead other people into doing that, so you could come down on them and find out who they are. Well, you found me. Here I am. I don't like you, any of you, or what you stand for. Ha, ah, you found me. Here I am. I think you're scum. And if I had my way, I'd get rid of you all tomorrow. You'd all be hanging. Off of every fucking bridge we got in London. Hanging. Hanging. You'd be fucking hanging, swinging, mate. Yeah. Everyone have their fucking phones out filming it. It'd be all over the fucking internet. Wow, look what's happened. We got rid of the evil ones. One time. Bam, get rid of them. Hanging for treason, for what you've done to this country. The way you've led this country, you want fucking hanging, mate. And I'm someone that used to say, nah, that's not going to solve anything. Get rid of you cunts, you are fucking pure evil. And we can't start our lives until you're gone. So you all need to go. All of you. Let's have cameras now watching the police. All the time. 24-7, got a clock in. When you clock in, mate, that camera goes on. Video and audio on you the full time. All the fucking time. So we can tell you cunts apart now. How many police have been done at the Met for noncing under Crusader Dick's watch? How many? Fucking loads. Nearly one a week. But Puddick can talk to her. Can't you, Puddick? Anyway, I'm letting it go. Let it go. I've pointed it out. You can take the horse to the water, but you can't make it drink, yeah? Shout out to Nikki Cooper. She's been brilliant. Some fucking brilliant chats with her. She's opened my eyes to a lot of things. She has. So thanks for that, Nikki. Definitely eye-opening. I wouldn't have had a clue that they weren't real police and this. And she said it early on. I was like, nah. But yeah. That's on par with them making up front page stories. They've gone in on me, man. In. In on me. And you have to ask yourself why. You know why. The Red Rooms. It's what's always been my problem. It's why I didn't get Radio 1 support later on when I went solo. Any of it. The politics going on in the background. Big ones, man. That I had no idea of. And no idea. And the phone hacking, even that ain't what it appears to be. Yeah, they done all that stuff. But the paper coming down and them hiding Kellaway through Mallet, who's now been done for fraud. Scotland Yard have been sending him the paperwork with the numbers blanked out. Molecare comes round, I got them unblanked out after I'd decoded. <sighs> too much, isn't it? You know what I mean? This is why. This is why. Bye-bye. 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 I made my point over ten years. I'm done. I'm done. <clears throat> I'm play my dogs. I am going to work hard to try and get my house to where it needs to be. And... Uh, try and keep an healthy state of mind.
I don't think this is very good for you, this. It's not actually, it's not good for you at all. trying to think man if there's anything else that I want to bring up all the supporters and that like thank you man thank you for supporting me there's been a lot against it you know what I mean but you saw through it and you believed and uh, that means it means everything that means everything I was believed by decent people. It means more than being believed by a corrupt newspaper or a corrupt prime minister. Real people, man, you got me. And thank you for that. So, uh, I think I'm done here. I don't think there's anything else. There is something. <clears throat> if you can, there is an Instagram channel and it's called Mario's Bros. Let me do that. Hold up. Mario's bros and um, these ones are stronger so get yourself over it look for that on Instagram yeah you can see that can't you Mario's bros yeah it's an Instagram page go and check it out it's where the stony worms come from and the and them and the uh, chewy cubes I'm pretty sure Lee had one of them the other day. He liked them. He said, have a go at them. I ain't had a go yet. Uh, so, yeah, once again, all of these available. Mario's Bros. Instagram. All right? Check that out. Look out for that logo on now. Yeah. So, um, that's all from me. Um, it's not all been bad. I've had some fucking laughs on now doing this. I have. I really have had some good laughs on now. And um, it's it's been stressful, but it has helped progress my mind and learn how to talk to people. This is all good, you know, coming online and it's just good for self-confidence, um, getting shit off your chest. It's, it's been all right. It's been all right. But there's been times when I've fucking felt like, I don't know what is happening to me. But I get it all now. And I get why nothing will ever get done about it. I get it. I get it. So I have to just learn to go, you're done. You're done. So uh, that's it. That's it. You all take care. Have a good life. And um, don't believe everything you hear in the media. And stay safe and be happy and be yourselves and um, try and find a bit of happiness in life. It doesn't always consist around money. Anyway, take care people, look after yourselves. See you later.